save you lots of money, it's never going to be possible to build that thing. I know Aileen told you that James said it wasn't going to work, but we were really just saying, look, we can just save you money, don't even try. Uh, so they said two things. Well, why did we say don't even try? Well, we said don't even try because the computer vision state of the art at the time, you know, was moderately impressive, but it worked on very, very restricted poses. So here we have real time, um, uh, the guy is standing in front of the blue screen, and we're getting a 3D, effectively, reconstruction of, of the guy's motion. What um, the problem with this system is, you can think of this as a nearest neighbor classifier, and the training set contains, you know, these motions, and not a whole lot extra. So, nearest neighbor <coughs> looks great, but we want people to make any motion with any size and shape. So, I'll talk more about that. Uh, another paper that was around at the time, there were a bunch of papers on like Gaussian process related variable model, human body flow estimation. Um, uh, this is one that I was involved in, so I'm going to tell you about this one because I like it. But they're all, you know, they're all kind of the same around that time. Um, so here we have a system which, because it's not using a nearest neighbor classifier, generalizes much better. So the training set here is much larger. The, the range of motions is much larger. Um, but this video is sped up 100 times. So uh, this is 100 times slower than actual real time. Uh, we couldn't foresee making this work on the Xbox, which, as you know, is a CPU designed in 2003. Um, so as far as we knew, the state of the art was not going to allow them to build the thing they wanted. They said, well, we still believe you can do it. Um, there's this guy called Alex Kipman, um, who's sort of a, maybe sort of Steve Jobs <coughs> character or something, just, you know, totally has the idea, and he said, oh, we know you can do it. First of all, they said, we've got depth data, you know, and we looked at the depth data, and we thought, wow, that's fantastic, you know, that really is amazing. Uh, still doesn't make it any easier. So, and you'll find this, either at the end of the CDPR paper, or at the end of the upcoming ICCD paper, we take the Connect system and apply it to 2D data. So no depth at all, just 2D silhouettes. And you'll find that the performance of the Connect system is still, uh, it doesn't drop that much. It drops you know, a fair bit. But the system actually works quite well on 2D data. So we were correct when we said to them, 3D data doesn't change the problem that much. It simply removes the sort of ambiguity where you get foreground, background. Um, so that was, uh, you know, so we still said, we can't. And then they said, oh, I see, that's a shame, because we've built one that already works. So this is 2008, I've shown you the two sort of state-of-the-art body tracking systems in 2008. Uh, so the Xbox guys sent us this video, uh, where they had a 3D model. So this has been written by basically some extremely brilliant graphics programmers, games graphics programmers. And they thought, well, why don't I get a 3D model um, put it in a start position, and then render the depth, and then update the model every frame. So this is the, one of the guys, he stands in position, and he's dancing around, and the system's keeping track of him incredibly well. So in fact, this demo really was, because we knew, right, it's obvious that there's no training set, so we knew that this deals with general body positions. Equally, we knew it's not going to deal with general motions. Right? It's, going to be, it's going to not work well if you have slow motion. Um, so, in order to make this work, you always have to go into the T pose, and if the system loses track, you have to go back into a normal pose. So, uh, in computer vision, of course, this has been studied forever, right? And the, the detection versus tracking, and we know that, in fact, you have to do detection if it's going to work. Um, but there are some interesting subtleties that I'll go through about how you actually make that decision. Okay, so this is a school, um, and one of the things that one should get from the school is an understanding of the state of the art, 